This is a, a story that needs to be told across the state and hopefully can be duplicated across the state. Yeah, we wanted to uh, give these guys, these kids, a chance to uh, learn how to run construction companies. I just think it's great. You know, we were just talking about the company that they created and all the engineering that went through and having to go down to the finance. Everything that every little business or any business has to do, everything that any family uh, has to do. And so it's a great exercise to, be, and to begin this early in life. Uh, it's a tremendous opportunity for them, and they've been obviously very successful. As soon as they leave high school, they've got a vision of what's, and then they can contribute so much more to whoever they go to work for. And they say, yeah, you know what, we can, that's what we need to think, we thought of this. Right. Just get some thinking so far beyond. Well, I think Doug said it all early on. He says, I'm going to buy the materials, and he says, and I'll pay those kids to weld that bridge. And I think it was just a week or two later, he said, no, he says, I can teach welders. We need to teach them. Right. And I thought, man, that's the whole, the whole thing. Well, I think it'll have an immediate effect on their lives because uh, how it will affect them in their uh, high school work because they now see relevance in what they're learning, that the math, uh, the, the science and those things that they're learning in school, that, they're, that they actually have uh, application uh, outside of the classroom. So now when they go back to the classroom, they'll see relevance to what they're learning and that'll just increase the rigor of their efforts. And so it'll have an immediate effect there, long-term effect. It, it'll probably inspire some of them uh, in the career choice that they make because it'll expose them to uh, a type of job or activity that they may have never considered and they realize they have interested talent in those areas. I think so. I think a lot of the kids, um, for the first time, realized what, what an engineer would probably do for a living. And I thought that was valuable. That was probably more valuable than anything else that came out of that. People have a great influence on, on the youth, like coaches. They have a great influence. But that's in how to play teams. What Vernon is doing, and through this inspiration Doug's had, he's teaching them what to look forward to in life and what's, what really they need to be thinking about and how to think through things and how to work with other businesses. That's what he's teaching. It's so much broader and bigger. The whole idea was to try and figure out a way that uh, rural kids could, get, could learn all those things and at the same time raise money for their school. I don't think a lot of people thought we could get it done. That's why they're so interested. They're like, oh, a bunch of high school kids build on a bridge. Yeah. Whoa. That's exactly but right. now they actually are like, wow, they can do work. I'm going to hire them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we can set in the lab in there and we can test that fish tank. Well, that fish tank doesn't change very much. But you get them out here in the, in the real world. This is real world stuff. And, and so they found out that the pH was different here in the river. The pH was was different than it is in our fish tanks and, and, and those, so they could start to see a connection with the outside world and what they're doing in school. You have to work together and it's not just a single thing you have to uh, show, show up to work and you might have to skip a, another class that you're actually using your textbook to learn real life skills. But it gives a kid a chance to to use those skills. If we teach a student math and he doesn't know how to use it, what have we done for him? The point was is that you're going to teach them how to run a business. Someone who would help you learn how to be a business person or to help you out so that when you do stuff in the real world, you have this experience so you're not lost. Learn how to be entrepreneurs, learn how to start a company, learn how to run a construction company, uh, learn actually how to do business, and at the same time, earn a significant amount that can go directly to their school and support their, their school programs. Bank representative came and I talked to her and we got everything worked out and we worked it just as a, if it were a loan, but we used our own FFA money. And we put it in a bank and then we have, we have specific people who could withdraw money for the project. So I want to get this straight. You actually use your individual money as collateral to fund the project. 
But it's important to understand is that what I call a major mentor. That could be somebody on the outside of the school that became the key person that it was tied into their, their ag program or, or their shop program, as long as there's a link there. But it doesn't necessarily mean that that teacher, that, that person that, that fills the, the role that Vernon does, has to be the one in charge. It could be anybody. It could even be a student. I think today, actually, we were putting the boards in, and we were working pretty hard, and we were pretty proud of how hard we were working, and then Mr. Roche got back and said we did it all wrong, so we ended up having to unscrew them all, and take them all, all and put them back in place, and so we were pretty discouraged after that, but we got it done. Over well, not one of the most amazing things, I listened to one of those kids, that I was inspired by it. You hired a contractor to come in and do the concrete, and one of the kids uh, immediately said, man, after seeing this, I, I wish we would have done this, because this is something we could do as well. So, I mean, definitely inspiring that the kids are learning, and they're seeing that, uh, that they can do anything if they put their minds together and work together. That's the best part of that deal, is, is that if you haven't seen it, you can't do it. But if they've seen it, now they've seen it happen. I, I don't think they'd have a trouble with it. They go home and pour their foundation in their house now, I think. I'm impressed how they have come just as, you know, every day, a steady stream. A group will come and replace themselves with others, and, and they just still continue to work on the project. It seems like they just have done a very good job. I just I thought this was a really wonderful idea, um, you know, especially in a small school because I think in the smaller schools like this, the kids don't get the opportunity to, um, like pre-calculus, they won't see that, they won't see the physics, they won't see the, the classes that you'll see at a bigger school, and I don't think that they really get the opportunity to understand what, what they would be doing as an engineer, and I think this, instead of, you know, now they did have a, a groundwork, they were able to see what it would be, and I think that you'll probably see a few engineers come out of that, out of this group. How do you feel about the accomplishments of the Mackey High students once you see the bridge? Well, it's, it's very impressive. And when you realize that this, the quality of this work and the, and the expertise was done by students, it's, uh, it's pretty inspiring. And you can see the talent that students have. And if we give them the opportunity to, show, uh, to learn and then show what they learned, uh, I think these are some of the results we see. So it's, it's, it's good for me to get out and see these things had opportunities to uh, get out and, and do uh, projects in the communities and learn some of the things they've used in the classroom uh, out in, in their communities. It's very rewarding for them, and then, like I said, it, it just, uh, helps them better understand why they're learning some of the concepts and skills that they are in their math class and science class and communication courses. Uh, and, uh, you know, when they can apply them, it just becomes more embedded into their skills and abilities that uh, they learned a number of different leadership skills, management skills. If any of them have a desire later on in life to go into business, they're going to learn sooner than later that the key to their success is going to be customer service. And so what they've learned through this project is that they may have a project, they may be able to uh, get a customer, but the customer satisfaction at the end is critical. And so I think they've learned some real, real um, lifelong um, uh, valuable lessons that will pay dividends for many, many years to come.